Good morning, everyone. It's me, Jimmy, back again with some more Calms and Farm gameplay. And this is episode two. We are finally in September. We, uh, just a quick recap. We ended up harvesting the entire field, our other field of barley, and had a pretty good yield on it. Wasn't so bad. And we decided we were going to wait till September to finish this wheat. So a little bit before we started harvesting this, I decided to uh, purchase another trailer. A few comments were like, hey, that grain cart is is terrible and you should buy another one. So we used some of our money. I sold the other trailer and luckily it didn't take much to repair because uh, we barely used it. So I repaired it and I sold it. So technically we really only have a net loss of, um, of like $11,000, which isn't bad. In the wheat field, I've decided to enable the straw swath. That way I can bail some of this up. So once we either we can sell them or hold on to them until we have animals that need the straw. So that's my plan with this this field. Um, so I'm hoping we can go ahead and get this field harvested pretty early this morning. Like I said, I only got one pass kind of started. So it wouldn't be uh, too time consuming. So we're gonna finish up this field and then we need to go ahead and get the field flipped. So I might buy a small trailer to uh, purchase some seeds and some solid fertilizer to fill our, uh, our driller up. That way um, we can move along with that because I feel like that's gonna take a very, very big part of our day. And I don't wanna make multiple trips going back and forth to the store over and over again so that's the plan for today i want to get this 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 field harvested and then flipped uh both fields i don't know if we'll have enough time but i'd like to get both harvested or flipped before october i did decide after talking to a few people that i would turn off um seasonal growth since we're just kind of like you know Doing a, a chill gameplay, nothing too crazy. Just go ahead and turn it off so we can just plant what, what, whatever we want to plant. Um, I know that soybeans go for a pretty hefty price. So I'm thinking that we can plant maybe soybeans in the big field or canola. Um, at least for this go round. Um, leave, leave some comments below what you would like to see me um you know in the in the next harvest cycle what you think we could do um what we could do to harvest uh just let me know if you've made it this far into the video <laughs> think about subbing to the channel we're getting very 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 close to a thousand subs and then at a thousand subs we're giving away a platinum expansion uh code and all you have to do is follow the instructions on one of my videos and uh, i'm giving away a code so good luck if you win it, congratulations, because we might, uh, we might hit that a thousand before the, oh, no, 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 oh, goodness, oh, goodness, we weren't paying attention to our, our, um, what's your call? So this is the trailer that I purchased, the, uh, Power Push, uh, I've used this before in another, uh, series, and I really like it because you don't have to worry about clipping the top of a roof or anything like that, the only thing that comes up is the the gate on the back and then it pushes out so we want to uh it has i think it had um like four times the capacity i think three or four times the capacity of the other grain cart that we were using so let's go ahead and see how much uh see the capacity just to double check because I, I know this has a bigger capacity but i just want to double check make sure um everything's all nice said uh it's a beautiful morning here in Compton farm god this map is absolutely gorgeous i love this map i could put out five videos a week of just doing this i love just looking at it let's go ahead and see what we got here go ahead and fill up we'll jump out of this for now actually we'll turn the turn this off we don't waste gas jump back in the class so let's see it's a 12 what is it 12 000 capacity for the harvester yeah that's definitely 
definitely a bigger capacity for for the grain cart i did also purchase a bag lifter because like i said i'm trying to play this somewhat like you know realistic so i'm trying not to use um super strength or anything like that at least for the time being you know i mean if something flips like you gotta do what you gotta do but uh my plan is to you know lift bags with the lifter but yeah i want to get some uh quite a few bags of seed and solid fertilizer to get ready um to flip these fields so let's go ahead and back up let's go ahead and get uh get this 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 field harvested let's see how how long it takes us into the day hopefully not too long hopefully we'll have plenty of time to uh complete the other tasks that we're looking for and uh Let's get started, or let's continue. I guess that would be the better, the better way to put it. Well, we have uh, almost completed our wheat field. Only a few more passes la left. Only a few more passes left. It only took us a few hours to uh, accomplish this goal, and that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's uh, only 10.43 in the morning. I'm thinking uh, before we start trying to flip fields, like as much as I want to get down a uh, crop, as fast as possible so that way we're not you know wasting a month of um of farming i would like to bail all these straw bales up or all the straw up and bail them up and pick them up um i don't know where we would store them i don't think we have a hayloft anywhere on the property so that's going to be a little bit tough other than saving them for later and then um selling them or whatever you know if we can get it make any profit off of it because like i said we don't have animals right now so that's not a big deal to me to save them but it could be something we could sell at a later date to try to make a profit and so that's what i'm thinking that we could absolutely do so um let's go ahead and finish this up 
like I said, we is quite a quite a quite a bunch of swaths of straw on the uh, on the ground. Like I said, this is this one's. I believe I can't remember exactly the difference in uh, acreage for these two. I just know the other one. I think is twice as big. So that's why it took it just took us just a little bit longer for us to harvest that one compared to this one. So. But we still got quite a quite a few liters of wheat. We've only taken one uh, grain cart full to the other side where our storage is. So so we'll probably have about two two I think about two and a half grain carts full of wheat, which is not bad. Which is not bad. Like I said, to have us something to sit on until we're we're ready to get rid of it and sell for a profit. These deer, I'm telling you, they just, they pop out of nowhere. We call those the ground deer. They just pop up and start nibbling on your wheat. You gotta watch them. You gotta watch them. They'll nibble your wheat. Nibble your stems. This, uh, this edge was a little bit wonky when we came down the first time, so it kind of widened up at the top. So we might have to do just a couple more passes. No big deal. No big deal. Still early. But I, yeah, I figure we will bail up the straw to clear the field. We will have to buy a bale trailer. I don't have one. It didn't. The the map didn't come with a bale trailer, so I might have to. I mean, I will have to pick up a bale trailer. I figure we can pick up a bale trailer, and then we can also purchase some bags of seed and some bags of solid fertilizer. That will we, even if we don't have time to flip flip both fields at the same or today or this month we'll still have them and we can bring them back that way we don't have to return to the store in uh, October but yeah I'm thinking canola because soybean soybean has a uh, pays out a whole lot more than canola does only about, about like a thousand dollars per uh, thousand liters so that's I mean that's a pretty big deciding factor so I'm thinking for our first go around, I'm going to do soybean, like I said earlier, in the other field and canola in this one. And I, you know, in the comments below on our next go around, what would you like to see me grow? What is it that you would like to see me grow here in Camson Farm? Like I said, we don't have enough money to purchase quite another field just yet because we are still trying. Like I said, we still have $85,000 and we, we could spend... But uh, there's some other things we need to buy. We definitely need to lime the fields. Oh, that's a bad one. There we go. We still need to lime the fields. So that's something we need to work at. Lurk at. Lurk at. Said it, literally said it three times. I need uh, to look at a uh, fertilizer or a spreader. That way we can get lime down. So we'll have to purchase some lime also. So it might be a little bit of a, a um, expensive... Uh, expensive year month let me see something real quick while we're dumping this um so january the max month so we could make some pretty good money in january so we will just have to wait and see like i said it's not it's not far like i said we could still you know we could, you know, unlike no man's land when you can't really do contracts we can absolutely do contracts in here if we need to make just a few extra dollars or we're just in some downtime where, you know, we're waiting for things to grow. Watch out, bird. Oh, no. That bird made it out just in time. Oh, there's another one. Those ground birds. The ground deer and the ground... Not ground deer. I mean, delicious. But the ground birds also. All right. Oh, I was hoping this would be wide enough to grab this last. Are we wide enough? Oh, we might just be... Oh, that's perfect. Oh. That makes me absolutely happy to see. Last stripe. Just wide enough for us to get it. All right. All right, let me finish up this row. I'm gonna dump this and we'll head over to the the uh, grain silos and we'll dump this last bit of... So I might cut a path through here just to cut off this little piece right here so we have like a, a cut through so I don't have to go all the way around down the road because the roads are really skinny and this dual wheeled tractor 
I mean, even, I mean, most of the, oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. Stay calm. We got to stay calm no matter what. Um, that way we can get down through here a little bit easier. Go ahead. Try to whip it around. Clear it. No, we're not going to clear it. Sometimes it happens that way. There we go. Drive it back in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Go ahead and drop this wheat. We'll see how much wheat we got in total from that field. Kind of give us an idea of, like I said, the yield bonus wasn't very high, so I'm not really worried about, like, kind of like comparing metrics. But uh, that was 64,000 uh, liters of wheat compared to 93,000 liters of barley. So 30,000 more liters on this field. So we can absolutely make some money soon, the next coming months. But we will sit on that for now. I think we can leave our cart here. Grain cart. We'll drive over here. Keep it out of the way. Maybe we'll just drop it right here for now. There we go leave you there that was much better much better higher capacity and like i said i like the, the hydraulic push to clear the back of the uh cart so let's get over here and see how long or how long how much how many bales we're gonna get jump out of here for now drop drop that we will put this away for now. We'll go ahead and hook up. I won't drive it back right now, but we will definitely drive it back to the farm. Get everything put away out of the elements. Go shut this tractor off. Turn that off. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this. I just feel like this will this will pull the baler a whole lot better than the small one. As much as I like the little small trailer, don't or uh, tractor. Don't get me wrong. So let's uh, go over here. We can change the bale size. Probably do the biggest bale. That way we have enough. We will turn on automatic drop. And then we will lower. Turn our baler on. And get started. I don't know if it's the constant feed. I don't think it is. So we'll probably have to stop every now and then. Go. Yeah. Pick up some of this straw. Make sure we stay in the middle so we don't miss any. Yeah, I don't know how many bales. Like I said, I, I'm going to go for the big bales. Um, we have a tractor powerful enough to pick them up. But, oh, we get, we definitely got to buy a tra uh, trailer. Oh, we got to buy a bale trailer. All right, that's no problem. We'll pick one up as soon as we see how many bales we get and see how many, you know, how big of a trailer we need. All right. Pretty productive morning so far. It's not even lunchtime. I just, like I said, I wasn't sure how many bales we were going to get out of this field. Like I said, without a, you know, low yield uh, field and how much straw was going to be dropped. Stop there. All right, let's keep it moving. There's one bale, 180 centimeter bale. So, uh, I, like I said, I'm not sure how many bales we're going to get out of this field. And that's okay. Because money is money. Let's back up quick. Then again, I don't want to spend a lot of money on a bell trailer. Um, like I said, I don't know how often we'll do this. But I guess having a trailer is pretty handy to move things around. We could always stack stuff up on top of the trailer. You know, bags and things like that. Instead of buying like a miscellaneous trailer. And then uh, buying a bell trailer. So...
right, it's gotten awfully dark here in Comson Farm. We had quite a few bales of hay. If we look here, we ended up with 264,000 liters of, uh, of straw bales. Um, doesn't sell for a lot, only 40,000, but, you know, we could use it for a rainy day. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is raining. So I'm going to finish up loading these up on the back of this trailer. That way we can get all these off the field. Anyway, if you've got it this far on the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Think about subbing to the channel. We're close to the thousand yard, thousand yards, thousand subscriber mark. And I appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed to the channel and been a big supporting part of it. I appreciate all the new community members that have joined. I'll drop that list right here. I do appreciate every single one of you also. You're absolutely amazing. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes from Comps and Farms. And be sure to check out the rest of my videos on the channel and on my playlist. I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, have a good night and take care of yourself.